General election set for late 2025. Cohen Jackson warps, and Wei Wan Well yields positive results. I'm Rico Pofford, and this is Uncut News. To see news happening, send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. Today, the vice president announced that Guyanese would vote in general and regional elections in late 2025 instead of in March 2025. According to him, they are counting the five-year term from September 1st, 2020, which is the date the National Assembly convened for the first time since the elections debacle started. He told the news conference that that means that his party has another two years in office to implement its policies and programs. Region 9 REO Carl Singh may have dodged jail time for drunkenly shooting an indigenous woman in the abdomen, but Singh did not dodge the bus the vice president threw him under today. This afternoon, Jagdeo denied that the central government was involved in the demolition of the PNC office in Region 9, instead laying the blame completely at Singh's feet, saying that the order was under Singh's directive and no one else's. However, Jagdeo added that the building belongs to the state and that the building was being illegally occupied by the opposition party even after three requests to vacate. Although he did conveniently leave out the fact that you actually need a court order before you can evict someone in this country, the notices aren't enough. But nonetheless, the BNC has claimed that it has documents proving it is the rightful owner of the property, but Jagdeo believes that those documents were about as real as those secret statements of Poe's Apnu still hiding from us. Anyway, Jagdeo said that the government is willing to issue a plot of land to the BNC and let them for a new office if it goes through the proper channels. The National Data Management Authority has provided free high-speed internet service to Aishalton, deep south Rupununi, in Region 9. The village had previously faced difficulties with data service from Digicel, and some educators were unable to connect to the internet, forcing them to travel to Latum for reliable connection, while a number of students dropped out of school altogether because they were not able to use the internet to research the things that they need to be researching for school. With the new system, the Village Council will monitor internet usage and prioritize education purposes. The Village's proposed ICT hub will be located at the Village office. Tiona October is currently acting as the Director of the Child Care and Protection Agency, according to the Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Dr. Vindia Passard. The process to appoint a permanent director will commence soon, but the appointment cannot be made in the absence of a public service commission whose term expired in August 2021. Former Deputy Mayor of Georgetown, Lionel Jaikaran, was found dead in his home on Friday morning. He was discovered at the bottom of his stairway and is believed to have fallen while making his way to the upper flat of his home. Jaikaran served as Deputy Mayor of Georgetown from 2016 to 2018 and was also the former president of the Georgetown Cricket Club. And as it comes to Guyanese politicians, he was an overall pretty decent guy, so he will clearly be missed. Hey, I'm interrupting this program to let you know that not all truck parts are created equal. Some does work hard without any problems for a long time, while others does make your truck broke down quick and got your run in your pockets again. Get genuine high-quality parts from powered automotive truck spares and engine parts and extend the life of your repair. They're the authorized dealer in Guyana for Hammer USA products like brake valves, clutch discs, universal bearings, and other... Visit them at 1161 EE Eccles or call them on 6970171. Powered Automotive, the number one truck and engine parts store in Guyana. If you didn't know, well now you know. And starting next week, Powered Automotive is having a major sale for Pagua. Check it out from March 6th to the 11th for this amazing deal. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale is 2020 Toyota Braze. It's almost brand new, and it comes with Toyota safety sets, Bluetooth, mug rims, new tires, TV, CD, LED lighting, fog lamps, bar camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $6 million. All pay as low as $1.2 million down with around $116,000 monthly for five years, and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info. Huh? Visit the showrooms at Lot 171, Pinot Street, Queen South, or Lot 2, Lama Street, and tell them you can send you for this sweet deal. Tired of waiting on hold, tracking down a delivery driver, or carrying cash for your food orders? GT Eats is here to make your life easier. 
Ghana's first cashless food ordering and delivery app. Choose from Georgetown's top restaurants, pay securely with your card, and get your food delivered right to your doorstep. With the convenience of being able to order from your phone and the added feature of tracking your order, GT Eats is the ultimate solution for all your food needs. Download the app on Apple and Android stores and start ordering the easy way today. Former Bishop's High School teacher Cohen Jackson has just beat the case against him. He has been acquitted of three charges after the victim withdrew the allegations and opted not to testify against him. Jackson had denied the charges which stated that he engaged in inappropriate behavior with a female student on four occasions between February to May 2011. He was represented by attorneys at law Nigel Hughes and Jerome Kahn. This is the second time Jackson has been tried for these charges. A mistrial was declared on three other counts in in the first trial. The police and Coast Guard conducted a drug eradication exercise in the Kanji River and they discovered and destroyed three marijuana farms and arrested a 63 year old farmer with a firearm and ammunition. The operation resulted in the destruction of approximately 1,800 cannabis plants as well as dried cannabis and cannabis seeds. A man in Stanley Town, West Bank Demerara, died in a car accident after losing control of his vehicle and plunging into a coca on the Bellevue Public Road. The driver was allegedly speeding and collided with the culverts before the car toppled into the canal. The driver was taken to the hospital, but was pronounced dead on arrival. Now for today's oil update. Canadian oil explorer CGX Energy Incorporated plans to relinquish 25% of the quarantine block according to its financial statement. The company has submitted its proposed acreage relinquishment to the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission and is awaiting their approval. CGX and joint venture partner Frontera Energy Corporation recently spotted the Way 1 well offshore Guyana and may consider future wells to evaluate development feasibility in the Kawa 1 Discovery Well and throughout the northern section of the quarantine block contingent on positive results at Way 1. The original quarantine petroleum agreement was awarded in 1998 and extended to June 2013, renewable after four years for up to six additional years. After commercial production begins, the company is allowed to recover contract costs from cost oil produced and sold from the contract area. CGX Energy's Way 1 prospect in the quarantine block has actually yielded positive results in the first round of drilling, with the first prospect of geologic horizons being successfully drilled. Drilling has been ongoing at 15,400 feet measured depth ahead of schedule. Future drilling activities on the northern section of the quarantine block are contingent on further positive results at way one. You can multiply your cash by selling digital top-up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a top offender quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685-3109 for more info. Robbery season might be over, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business with Sheriff Security. Sheriff Security has well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. They speed even our drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, Fuel's poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Ghana, the region, the diaspora, and how you fear it relates to us. Last night I asked, what are some other buildings in the nation that should be declared as national heritage sites? But before we get to that, I'm proud to announce our latest addition to the Noble Army, Richard Singh, who is supporting us at the reporter level, the highest level of monthly support we've received so far. So thank you, Richard Singh. And also, a special thank you to David Griffith, Dion Nascimento, Project Zero, and Dimitri V. I appreciate you all. And if you're watching at home and you'd like to support our movement, just hit the link in the video description. Rafa Norton says, I think the residents of the former home of President LFS Burnham should be declared a historic site. The building is full of history. Who lived there and how they lived there at that period in our history should be preserved. I agree. That among many other buildings in this nation. Barefoot Wanderer says the High Court needs a paint job. Paint it white to enhance the colonial architecture. Just my two cents. And whatever happened to the animals from the private zoo of the dude who got charged with human trafficking? You know, that's a really good question, and unfortunately it seems like no one bothered to ask. It's a pity. Now for tonight's question. How do you feel about the government deciding to extend their term to late 2025? Do you think it's fair given the original five-month delay in 2020? Or does it leave you a bit concerned? 
Honestly, given the past behavior of local elections and whatnot, it concerns me just a wee little bit, but hey, that's just me. But I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight, and check us out on Monday for another. Until then, I'm Rico Bullfoot saying, have a great weekend. And as always, don't drink and drive, or you'll end up on Monday's episode the hard way. Ha-ha! Good night, folks.